Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this lesson, we'll talk about a segment, or sometimes you can hear line segment. They mean the same thing, and it's just a portion of a line, which means it can be measured. For example, you have here a segment, segment AB, and we have a length of 9 cm. Just to remind you, this is the notation for a segment. And whenever you talk about the length of a segment, how long it is, you don't need that sign. For example, here the segment AB is 9 cm. And now I said here, let's have a point C between points A and B. This one. And if you notice, I said this is uh, 6 and this is 3. If we add these two guys, we get this 9, right? So I think what we have here makes sense. That's the reason we call a postulate. It's a true statement. You don't have to prove it. And it says exactly what you see on that picture. If points A, B, C are collinear. What does it mean collinear? It means on the same line. And C is between A and B like this. You notice C is between A and B. Then AC plus CB equals AB. So this is the postulate that I use here. And one more time, postulate is a true statement. You don't have to prove it. So let's see how we use this uh, postulate, the segment addition postulate for solving this problem. And in this first example, we need to find the length of the measure of BC. And if you notice, BC is right here. Can I call it X? I think it makes the things easier. And I'm going to say X plus 4.7 equals 7.3. So I can write an equation here in back and get to solve for x. I'm going to subtract 4.7 on each side to get rid of this. 4.7 by the way. And now let's do 7.3 minus 4.7. And up with 2. 0.6. So the measure of segment BC is 2.6 centimeter. Uh, let's take a look to part B. Uh, here we need to find the length of FG, the measure of FG. Uh, FG, if you notice, starts from F and up to G. That is very simple. FG is nothing else than FH plus HG, this is the segment addition postulate. So FG will be 3.2 plus 2.7. Oh, everything is in inches, so don't have to stress. And just let's use a calculator and add this to number. Of course, it can be the calculator also. 5.9 inches. That's how much FG is. Um, here I said sometimes you need some algebraic skill to solve the problem. So for example, here we need to find the value of X and the length of each segment. So uh, let's take a look here. We're going to use the segment addition postulate, which says AC plus CB or BC equals AB. We're going to replace this um, segments AC with 25. CB will be 3x minus 1. We can see in the picture equals how much is AB. And if you set 72, that's correct. So again, we have an equation a little bit more complicated than the previous one. I'll combine the 25 and the minus 1. That will be 24 plus 3x equals 72. And what will be the next step? will be to subtract 24 to get rid of this 24. And I'm going to move here on the right. And I have 3x equal. And now we have to do 72 minus 24. I end up with 48, and the last step, divide by 3, 
to get rid of these three and we have x equals 16 So we answered the first part, find the value of x, and now the length of each segment. We need to find this bc. If you notice, bc is 3x minus 1. So I'm going to have 3 times 16 minus 1. So 3 times 16 is 48 minus 1, and that will be 47. Let's take a look to part b. Very similar, we need to find the length of nt. This is this segment that has the expression 3x plus 2. But what we're going to do here, very similar, I'm going to write a segment addition, postulate nt plus tm equals nm. So in this case, we have 3x plus 2. plus 2x minus 7 equals 60. Again, we end up with an equation. x is on the same side, so we need to combine these two. Gentlemen, that will be 5x. Uh, positive 2 minus 7, that will be minus 5 equals 60. Next step will be to add 5 to get rid of these. Minus 5 here, negative 5 minus 5. So we end up with 5x equals uh, 65. The last step divide by 5. And that will be x equals uh, 13, I think. Let me double check. Yeah. So we have x. We answered the first part and now we need to find nt. And t, if you take a look, it's 3x plus 2, so it's going to be 3 times 13 plus 2. That will be 39 plus 2, and that will be 41. That is how much nt is. Uh, and the next part of the lesson, we're going to look to something that we call congruent segment. Congruent segment are those segments that they have the same measure. This statement tells you that if AB, and this is the sign congruent with CD, then they have the same measure. That's what it says. It works backwards also. So the converse works also. If AB equals with CD, if they have the same measure, then they are congruent. Okay, so... Now, as you notice, on the picture we have marks, these tick marks. That tells you when two segments are congruent. Yeah, you see the same tick marks, then they are congruent. And you can have more than two. You can have, like in this case, four segments. Each one is two centimeters. So all these four are congruent. You see this statement here, which says the congruent statement, and this the measure is the same. So be aware about both statements, I will say that. Now let's take a look to um, another example and you notice that the very similar, find the length of each segment of the segment BC, uh, this one. But what do you notice? BC and AC are congruent. Okay, so first thing I can do, I can write this statement AC plus CB equals AB and yes, do this be consistent. I'm going to call this X and obviously this is going to be X because they are congruent. So I'm going to have X plus X equals 48. That is the length of segment AB. And we have here 2X equals 48. We combine the two X's, divide by 2, we get X equals 24. Oh, that x is nothing else than the length of the measure of segment AC or BC. So BC is 24. Uh, let's take a look to the second part. In the second part, very similar. We notice we need to find NT, but NT and TM 
are congruent. So how are we going to do this problem? The, the way you want to do this problem is a little bit different. Since they are congruent, uh, let me write the statement just to be familiar. Anti-congruent of Tm because we see the same thick mark. We can also say Nt equals Tm. And obviously now we can write the next statement, which is 2x minus 23 equals x plus 3. So this is pretty much what geometry is about, and here is what algebra is about. So I will personally subtract x. So we have here x minus 23 equals 3, and add 23. To get rid of this minus 23 on both sides obviously so we get x equals 26 but we don't need x here we need the length of segment nt so if we take a look here nt is what uh, 2x minus 23 so we're gonna have 2 times 26 minus 23 2 times 26 is 52 minus 23 and that will be 29 then that is how much nt is is 29 Okay, obviously Tm, in case you need something like that, will be 29, and Nm will be 2 times 29, uh, in case you need that also. Very similar example, the only difference, maybe the equation is a little bit more complicated. Find the length of each segment. Uh, I think we're going to do F, but find the length of each segment, RV, VBS, and RS. But again, we notice these two segments are congruent, so I'm going to write just the equation, but of course I will suggest you to write the other two statements we have in previous problem, just to be consistent to uh, geometry. But of course this is the algebra of this problem, and then we have here distributive property, 2x plus 6 equals 4x minus 12, minus 2x and I will do here because I want to cancel these 2x is not the only way by the way and we have here 6 equals 2x minus 12 I'm going to add 12 and we have 18 equals 2x and divide by 2 to get rid of these two so we get x equals 9. So we have answered the first part, find the value of x. So now we need to find each segment. I'm going to start with Vs. Vs, if you take a look, it's 4x minus 12, so 4 times 9 minus 12. So that will be 36 minus 12, and that will be 24. What about Rv? You can say right away 24, but let's see if that's correct. 2 times the quantity x plus 3, so that would be 9 plus 3. So that would be 2 times 12, and that would be 24. No surprise here, it should be 24, because these two segments are congruent. Now, what about Rs? Rs will be... 24 plus 24, if you want to say like that, to use the segment addition postulate. Or, of course, you can say 2 times 24. That will be 48. Uh, let's take a look to the next example, where we have multiple congruent segments, and we need to find the length of each segment. And the first one says find the length of AD. Okay? Uh, AD, if you notice, is this segment. Okay, so how are we going to find uh, the length of AD? First of all, you notice all those segments are congruent. AB 
plus BC plus CD plus DE this all these four segments if you add Adam we get AE this is the segment addition postulate right and book of, of course we can call XXX all these segments so we're gonna have X plus X plus X plus X and that will be 22.8 and that will be 4x here equals 22.8 and for finding x we need to divide by 4 both sides so let me grab the calculator and that will be 5.7 that is how much x is but we don't really look for x we look for how long the measure of AD is this guy, and if you notice, AD is, is three segments, three axes. So that will be three times 5.7, and that will be 17.1. Uh, let's take a look to the second part where we have to find RV, which is the whole segment, by the way, if you take a look. But also we notice all these segments, these three segments are congruent. So first thing I'm going to do is to find X by making any of these two statements you see in the picture. What do I mean? 3X minus 2 equals 4X minus 7. That is one statement because these two segments are congruent you notice but also you can say 3x minus 2 equals 2x plus 3 that will not be bad and we have a third choice for x minus 7 equals 2x plus 3 either one would be good i'm gonna go with the last one since i have it here i'm gonna subtract 2x and we have here 2x minus 7 equals 3. Of course, the next step will be adding 7. If you have that in your mind, great job. 2x equals 10. 3 plus 7 is 10. Divide by 2. And we get x equals 5. Okay, that is x. But now, how do I find rv? We're going to have to find every single segment here. Or maybe only one, in fact. And that will be 3 times 5 minus 2. That will be 15 minus 2. And that will be 13. So RS is 13. But how much is going to be this one? This is going to be also 13. And you can plug it in. 4 times 5 is 20 minus 7, 13, of course. But is this 13? 2 times 5 plus 3. Yeah, 13. Yeah, you can check this just to be sure. And now RV will be what? 13 plus 13 plus 13. That is one way. Of course, some of you may say, can I do 13 times 13? 3 times 13, I'm sorry. And the answer is yes. Either way, you get 39. And that's it for this lesson. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.